Hey guys, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is Chrono Chicken for the Nintendo DS. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded last. I've just been busy with the usual computer problems again and over time, but let's not delve into that too terribly much. Last time we left off on this game, we just learned some new magic tricks, which is pretty exciting, I think. Let's uh let's take a look here. That's all my inventory. Here's here's my text. Look at that. Lightning and fire and ice. Too bad Robo can't learn diddly crap, but basically his lasers are kind of the same as dark magic anyways. So I'm going to stick with the ladies this time. We're going to be on our merry little way here. Back to our own time. Hi, by the way. You folks came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing in here? Oh, you know, just, just hanging out. Who do you think you are, coming and going from somebody else's wardrobe at all hours of the night and day? Humans, I tell you! Alright, well, bye. Wait a minute. Medina is a village of fiends, founded by our ancestors when they lost to the war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the town folks still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an odd human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west. He may be able to help you out. Thanks a lot. But aren't fiends supposed to hate humans? Why are you being so helpful? It's been 400 years since a man warred against fiend. There's no use living in the past. Of course, not many of the others seem to agree with that. Thanks for the heads up. Not bad, not bad people. Let's go here. Ooh, you're a big guy, aren't you? Blast that Aussie eight! Always hiding behind his ancestral fame to boss us around. Ancestral fame. But first, a speed capsule. Most importantly, this work is brutal. What are you even doing? You're just walking back and forth. I'm also the eighth leader of this village. My great 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 grandfather fought against the humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh great Fiend Lord, why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago when you have the chance? Oh, he's a little bitter. Let's let's uh let's see what else we can rob. A fearsome beast lives in the cave on the mountains to the west. Only magic can harm him. I doubt a human would be able to make it through not being able to use magic and all. Well, I've got the three people that will be able to. Well, I better get back to tidying up before Ozzy 8th catch me. And there's something I can steal. Out of my way. Out of, out of, oh my god, I'm stuck. Yeah, magic capsule. Alright, now that we've done robbing this house, let's go see what other houses we can rob, because we're the hero and we can do that kind of thing. To the inn. No room here for humans. Scat. Uh, fine. I don't even need to rest anyways. Out. You're spoiling my drink. Ugh, sorry. Filthy humans ought to go take a hike through that heckring cave and get what's coming to them. <laughs> Shut up. To the market. Going to flea market. I got nothing here to sell the humans. Get out of here. I want to actually buy shit, so I will actually plead. Humans, they think they got a right to everything. Teach them a lesson, boss. Oh, no. You don't want to do that. You really don't want to do this. Oh, is he dead already? Oh, no, maybe not. So anyways, I defeated you in one hit. Please sell me some shit now. Ooh, anti-potent bomb at dual tech. Or however you pronounce that. They beat you, boys? Monsters! How ironic coming from you. Alright, I'll sell. Alright, let's see what they got here. They have very, very overpriced garbage. As you can tell, 
my god. I can actually afford this if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to be buying anything. Because I kind of want to get things at a cheaper price. Here, you think I'm going to charge a human the going rate? I see how this place is going to work. That chanting's pretty creepy. What do you make of it? check this place out. It's weird, it's cool, it's interesting. Oh, great fiend lord. Oh, great fiend lord. Oh, great fiend lord. How did I know? 400 years have passed since Magus commanded the fiends and raged war against the humans, but if Lavos can be reawakened, there'll be no more humans. You? It was the fiend lord's Magus who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us. Once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. You? The almighty fiend lord delivered Lavos onto us long ago with his great magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to you already. It was the fiend lord. Yep. Yep. I think I talked to everybody here. Looks like it. Let's take a look at this guy. Excuse me, everybody. Trying to trying to look at your fiend lord. He's a pretty handsome looking fella. Let's get out of here. So we learned some history today. We've been to the elder's house. What's this? Ooh, ruins. And a chest here. Mid ether. Oh, this is kind of freaky and weird. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's leave, because it doesn't look like we can really do much with this right now. Let's see what else is here that we can explore. Got some mountains and some forests. But it looks like we need to kind of cross over to the other side here, so let's go over this away to where wonderful, th wonderful things are. This must be the... Yep, this is Mel Melkor's cabin. Oh, you've come to see me, by all means. Have a look at my collection. Could I interest you in a weapon? I'll give you a special prize. Sure. Maybe you actually don't overprice me, like the other guy. Sure looks that way. So, buy one for you, one for you... You already have that, and you already have that. Buy two of these. Very good. Let's equip these things quickly. This. Um, oh, you had a titanium suit, right. Or a titanium vest, sorry. And... That looks good. Now I can sell all my... Stupid garbage I don't need anymore. One of these. I already had one. Oops. Oh well. I had I have several things to sell. There. And sell three of those. I think that's everything I want to sell. Yeah, I definitely don't want to sell those, that's for sure. Uh you know what? I might as well stock up. Because, why not? There we go. No, I have to have an even number! Ah. Everything has to be in multiples of five, otherwise it's just not right. Weapons are not meant for taking lives, they're meant for saving them. That's great, thanks. Hmm, we've got a, quite the collection down here, good sir. Looks like there's not much else down here, though. Uh, let's see what he says when I say no. Well, you know where you need to find me, should the need arise. I do. Oh, if you wanted to return to truce, there's a shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. 
Thank you, sir. Let's go take a look. Death to the enemies of the fiend kind! The hell did I do? Besides, I already killed you before in the store in one hit. You should learn from Mr. Storman. I love how the weapons here have different kind of looks to them when you use them in battle. That's kind of neat. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I like that. I like when things happen like that. When things look slightly different and it's not just a carbon copy of the last thing I used. It looks cool. It's kind of like I put more thought into effort into making this game somewhat more unique than just, oh, here's the sword, it's going to slash. Again, even though you've already seen it like a thousand times. Ooh, what are you? An octopus pot? Just what I always wanted. Ooh, this thing's tough. It's got quite the defense. Alright, octopus that breathe fire, that's fine. It's cool. Hmm, something's telling me that I have to use my magic here. Just based on the hints that I received earlier. Does that mean I'm muted? I hope not. Okay, good. Aw, oh, yeah. Magic does a trick. Oh, I'm blind. Okay. I wonder if I need to use magic excessively. I hope not. Well, it just takes some time. It's fine. It's cool. Sure, I can just take care of them easy with magic, but who the hell wants to take care of things easier? I mean, come on. Don't miss. Aw, damn it. I'll just have to leave these to the ladies, I guess. You're doing so well before, Krona. Why'd you have to miss that one time? Good. Great. Gotta complete the map. I have to do it. Good enough. Let's see what other crazy shenanigans we can run into in this cave. Oh, shit. Oh my god, it's... I don't even know what they even call that. Apparently it's a rhino weevil that I need to use the magic on. It's too bad the magic I have only attacks one thing so far. Little bit of ice and a little bit of fire. Good. Everything is great. And that's why you want the two ladies for these parts, because otherwise it's just going to take a thousand years to defeat them. We'll bring Robo back eventually. I don't want to go down there yet. There's, there's things. There's things and things I can do. See? Things and things. Let's see. We got Aura Whirl, Fire Whirl. This might help us a little bit. Let's do that. And you use your ice on this one. Good. I was a little worried that wouldn't work as I predicted. But it did. Those things are weird. What is he doing? What are you doing? It's weird. I don't like it. Next. Now for the chest. Now for the... There we go. I was wondering why that took me forever. Ooh, ether. I mean, not ether. Safe point. Jeez. Ether, safe point. Same thing. Let's take this entryway first, because I have a feeling that this path will be the correct way to go. Oh, I was right. It is correct, because there's a chest there. Please just let me kill you. Oh, so you have to have a, a tough thing, of course. 
That's okay. We can, uh, we can show off the lady's uh, other technique here. Antipotent bomb. Go. Oh, damn. That's only gonna hit the one, isn't it? If only it was a little bit faster. And that's a little bit of an overkill, but that's okay. I should just be able to kill this one. Yep. See, that wasn't so bad. We just have to, uh, have some patience. Oh. Oh, no. Not you. Anything but you. Aw, oh, you do the exact same thing as you do in Final Fantasy IV, and I don't like that. I don't like it. This is probably going to take several years, yeah. I should probably just use a tech. It'll just be easier. Don't confuse her. Good. Oh, uh, we used Fire Whirl before, so let's use Fire Whirl again. Actually, no. It's just kind of a waste. Fire you. Ice on you. Oop. Oh, oh, hold on. There. I like how the spells look in this game. It's cool. And how they cast magic and stuff. It's just so neat. It's fancy. There'll be a character in this game a little bit later. They'll have a really cool spellcast animation. Magic scarf! Oh my god, I got a magic scarf. Power glove. Uh, let's see. There it is. Magic plus two, we'll give that to you. There. Now to go the proper direction. Back over here. And down. Oh. Ooh, a bunch of you. I know what to do with a bunch of you. This is going to be exciting. Hurry up, Luca. Hurry up, Luca. Hur hurry. Thank you. That took a thousand freaking years. You ice there. Very nice. A little bit of overkill, but that's okay. Helps take care of things a little bit faster. One more hit ought to do it. From Luca. See you later, Boundillo. Nice. Level ups are always a good thing to have. Now to find more of you. Just what I've always wanted. Alright, come on, Luca. Let's do this. Eh, that just seems like a waste. Alright, we'll just do some of this. And some of this. Same thing as we did before. Besides, we like seeing everybody's spell. Seeing everybody's spell is fun. And we, had we also like getting levels and tech points so we can learn even more cool spells. Everybody loves cool spells. This room seems to be suspicious. It just sort of screams, this is the last room you'll go into forever and ever, in all the days. Uh, let's see, how can we make this go slightly faster? Hurry up. Thanks. Uh, I was kind of hoping that something would be good and great, but it isn't. Oh shit, I just realized Chrono's health. You will heal him. No, thank you. That was a weird looking spell, but okay. That it kind of looks like everybody could use a little bit of healing, especially Morley. 
We'll just fight these guys as normal since they weren't so bad to take care of. So I can save some magic for myself. Might be needing a lot of magic later. You never know. Should almost be done, I'm hoping? Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, you're blind, aren't you? Hmm. Not only does the symbol just tell you, but it also tells you right underneath his health on the side there. That's a little handy. I don't like the fact that that covers up everybody, but at least it doesn't cover up the monster, which is good. Oh, another one of these. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to come back to that. I wonder when we can start opening those things up. That'd be nice to know when. Now we can sneak underneath all of these things and go to the save point here. First, I want to check out the other side quick. I want to look. I gotta look. Oh, I can't. I can't go over there. Okay, never mind. Let's go to save point. Alright, this seems like a good place for me to end things off, so... Next time, we'll continue through this cave. I'll catch you guys later.